if you are in a developing country like Cameroon, there are three things you need to consider before choosing a laptop. I know that most of you, when you need a laptop, you think about the RAM, the processor, the size, the shape, the battery life. But trust me, as a consultant in computer IT marketing, these are some of the mistakes people make when they start focusing on that. Sometimes you just get a white elephant project. You spend expensively on a laptop that you never use the capabilities. Sometimes you underbuy. You buy because you are highly economical and you take a laptop. At the end of the day, you cannot use that laptop. So, if you are in a country like Cameroon, particularly if your budget is from 60,000 francs to about 200 or 300,000 francs, you have three things to consider. One, the purpose for which you want to use the laptop. The second thing, you need to consider is the type of programs you want to use for that purpose and last but most important your budget we know that the average budget of a cameroonian right now is things are very tight in this cameroon everything there's inflation in the market if you take a salary of 100,000 or 200,000 francs if you used to spend like 70 80,000 francs on feeding you will now spend 150,000 francs on feeding how then do you save up so that you can spend on other things such as laptops, furnitures, and so on? So, I'll explain briefly in one minute on the three main things you consider. Like I said, first is the purpose. Do you want to use your laptop for entertainment? Do you want to use it for your studies? If it is for your studies, which brand of field do you want to study in? Do you want to study, like if you're an economist, will you be doing data analysis? Yes, if you are using data analysis, then the type of laptops you will be using will be different from the person doing engineering or programming. If you are using it for gaming, it is very different. And after considering what you want to use it for, for instance, if you want to use it for business, for data entry, for typing, for children playing at home, those are the first things that matter. After that, now you go to the second thing, which is the programs. Which program will you use to fulfill the purpose? That becomes very, very important. Most people just come and say, my son is doing engineering. Some engineering programs just need a simple Core i5 laptop with processor speed of about 2.0, while other engineering programs need to take up to a processor speed of about 2.8 gigahertz, a graphic card of 4G dedicated, a RAM of 16 or 32 gigabytes. So we must think about the type of engineering, which program they will be using. Would they be using Ashikat? Would they be using AutoCAD? Would they be using Coverdis? Would they be using which other type of program that has to do with engineering? In that case, you know that you need a high-end laptop. But if you are doing engineering and you are using simple programs like the Chibo Pascal and so on, those programs don't need a very expensive laptop. A simple laptop of about 100,000, 120,000 will give you that. There is no need to go spending 500,000 francs and constraining your budget when what you really need is just about 100 or 200,000 francs. If you are doing something like economics, you have to analyze data, you have to work on a good number of things, then you need to consider that you are doing data processing. You don't need high graphics card. You don't need to stress yourself that you need Nvidia, you need Ryzen, you need AMD Radeon. All you need is a simple graphic card, but focus on the processor. If you are using SPSS, you are using eViews, or something that has to do with data processing, a laptop with a processor speed of about 2.5 gigahertz will go with 100 to 120 or 130,000 francs. You get something very perfect. Another thing to consider at the level of the programs is the program version. Most people that go with AutoCAD, Architecture, and those heavy programs always work in the budget range of 300 to 400. So, if you have just 200,000 francs or 150,000 francs, what do you do? Instead of using AutoCAD 2024, which is going to require, require a very high machine, you can use AutoCAD 2018 with a machine of 80,000, 100,000 francs. You will still realize the same house plan that somebody with a machine of 500,000 francs can realize. It all depends on you. Sometimes we spend a lot just for the aesthetics. We should think about the, the type of programs we want to run on the machine first. 
and that leads us directly to the last thing which is the budget you will not kill yourself because you want to buy a laptop you will not sacrifice all the family members in your house because you are doing engineering but if you have the money then you can go for that when you consider all these three things in place now you play within the purpose the program and the budget you can now be thinking about the ram the hard drive the cpu the gpu the size the shape whether it's touch screen is slim or 360. notwithstanding you can always come to the R informatic or go to any of our branches for free consultancy free it consultancy on what you need to do or what you need to consider before buying a laptop if you have any further suggestion you can give us on the comment section if you like the video please click the like button and share so that we can upgrade more content like this to share knowledge and better our community thank you very much for always believing trusting and promoting the art informatic god bless you